We caught up with Burkett and his attorney Andrew Jones as they were walking out of the courtroom. Neither would comment. However, today in court it became apparent both of these men are instrumental in the exposure of these alleged claims over voter fraud. Burkett testified today that after he refused to forge signatures for the presidential primary ballot in 08, he didn't speak about it again until 2010 when he ran into his old classmate, Andrew Jones. Burkett claimed he was too scared to go to police on this ordeal because he said Morgan told him the county's prosecutor, Mike Dvorak, and he worked out a deal for Burkett to avoid felony prosecution on an unrelated case of ghost employment. He was fearful those charges could possibly surface. Today, Dvorak testified he never worked out a deal for Burkett to avoid ghost employment charges. Last year, when he heard that his name was involved in the case, Dvorak requested a special prosecutor be brought in. Stanley Levko of Evansville is currently prosecuting this case. It wasn't until last April that voter fraud charges were filed on Morgan and his other three staff members.